Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up another challenging question from trigonometry. We have to solve root 3 minus 1 over sin x plus root 3 plus 1 over cosine x equal to 4 root 2. X lies in the interval 0 to pi by 2. End points are excluded. So let's get started by considering I will divide both sides by 2 root 2 first. So I will be writing our equation as root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 times sin x. Then I will be writing root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Then I will write cosine x. And right hand side it would be 4 root 2 over 2 root 2. So this is 2. Now I will calculate what is this value using trigonometry. So let us find out sin pi over 12 and cosine pi over 12. So I will write sin pi over 12 as we can write sin pi over 12 is pi over 3 minus pi over 4. 4 pi minus 3 pi over 12. So it is sin pi over 12. Now sin a minus b formula. It is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So sin a that means pi over 3 cos b. So cos pi by 4 minus cos a. So cos pi by 3 sin b. So sin pi over 4. Now let us put the value. Sin pi over 3. It is sin 60 root 3 by 2. Cos pi over 4 root 2 by 2 or 1 by root 2 minus cos pi over 3 half sin pi over 4 root 2 by 2 or 1 by root 2. So let me write 1 by root 2. Now denominators are same. So I can write root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. So here I will replace this bracket with sin pi by 12. Now let's check the second bracket also. This one. So I will calculate cos pi over 12. Cos pi over 12. Which can be written as cos pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Now cos a minus b. Let us write the formula also cos a minus b. It is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So I will write our RHS. Cos pi over 12 will be cos a cos b. So I will write cos pi by 3 cos pi by 4 minus. So minus is there so I will use plus sin pi over 3 then I will be writing sin pi over 4. Let's put the value. So cos pi over 3 is cos 60 it is half. Cos pi over 4 I will straight away write 1 over root 2 plus sin pi over 3 root 3 by 2 sin pi over 4 1 by root 2. So this is converting into root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Now we have to only put the values. Let's put, let me write in that order first, root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 times sin x plus root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2 times cos x and right hand side it would be 2. Now let us put this value. This is sin pi over 12 and this bracket is cosine pi over 12. So I will be writing here sin pi over 12 divided by sin x plus cosine pi over 12 
divided by cos x and right hand side is 2. Now let us take LCM in LHS or we can multiply both sides with sin x cos x. So this is also way. So I will write sin phi by 2, phi by 12 it is cosin x plus cos pi by 12 sin x and right hand side it will be 2 sin x cos x. Now left hand side if you will see sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. This is sin a plus b formula. So I will write sin a plus b. So x plus pi over 12 or pi over 12 plus x. Right hand side 2 sin a cos b. So it is 2 sin a cos a is sin 2a. So I will be writing here sin 2x. Now let us find out general solution. So I will be writing LHS sin x plus pi over 12. And right hand side it is sin 2x. Now I will write general formula first. If sin theta equal to sin alpha then general value of theta will be n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n times alpha. So let us apply here and find out solutions where it is lying in the interval 0 to pi by 2 in first quadrant only. Okay. So I will be writing here x plus pi over 12 equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n in place of alpha it is 2x. Now I will put n equal to 0 and we will check whether it is lying in this interval or not. So once n equal to 0 I will be writing x plus pi over 12 equal to 2x only. So I can write x is equal to pi over 12 which is in the first quadrant. So this solution is true. Now let us put n equal to 1. So I will write x plus pi over 12 equal to pi minus 2x. So I can rearrange. So 3x will be pi minus pi over 12, so 11 pi over 12. Dividing both sides by 3, I will have next solution, x is equal to 11 pi over 36. And if you will check, both lies in the interval of 0 to pi by 2 or in the first quadrant. So these two solutions are accepted solutions. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.